Every year at Amazon's fall hardware event, we get new products and we get some insight into the future of our homes. This year was no different, so let me show you what Amazon brought us. The Echo Show 15 is a 15.6 inch screen. It can be wall mounted or it can sit on a stand and it can even be put in portrait or landscape mode. Plus, I really like the look of that stand. It's 1080p and you can see the controls that you're expecting from your Amazon Echo Show types of devices. Plus, Amazon announced that Sling TV would actually be coming to their smart displays in the US this year. It includes the next generation AZ2 neural processor. Now this is quad core and it's really intended to create a lot more local processing on your devices. This enables a number of new features on this Echo Show 15. The first one is Visual ID, which allows you to walk up, be recognized by the display, and have the whole display or interface customized to what you'd like to see. Now this is an optional feature for you to go ahead and sign up for, but there's also additional personalization and preferences that you can now set with what is a more teachable AI. One of the features I'm the most excited about though is a new custom sound detection feature that's enabled by this processor. This allows you to teach the AI or teach Amazon's voice assistant sounds that occur in your home and therefore trigger routines or notifications at that point to do something about it. That new interface is supported though by the new widgets UI and this is something I showcased earlier this year on the channel but here it's being used in order to really customize that display and there's even picture-in-picture -picture live camera views all on the Echo Show 15. All of this at $250 US. I thought this was going to be a lot more, so I'm excited to see this one. The next big launch was Astro, and this is a literal home assistant robot for you that really is based a lot on the same technology that's going into the Echo Shows. It's $1,000, and it's a day one additions product, so you have to actually sign up in order to get an invitation, but they say they will be shipped later this year. You're going to actually call this one Astro, not Miss A, and it comes with an extending camera, and they did a ton of work on making sure it could get around your home successfully, even as the conditions change. You can set out of bound zones, plus you can actually tell it to come and join you, or you can tell it to take a break and it'll kind of slink away. It can of course do everything you would expect from an Echo Show, but it's gonna do it while moving. So those video calls are gonna be pretty interactive with this one. It's doing all of this with more of that edge computing. So we really heard Amazon move more and more to putting on device processing power and they've used that to enable a couple of other features on both this and the Echo Show 15. I have to get full details on this one, but there's ultrasound occupancy routines that will become available within your whole Amazon system. Now what this means is that certain devices that have ultrasonic detection capability will be able to tell if you're in the room or if you've left the room and then take actions like turn off your TV or turn off lighting. So this is again a way to not have to think about what your home's doing and just have it managed the way you'd like. And I think that Astro works really well with the other feature which is called Called Miss A Together. Now this is a subscription service for $20 a month so it's not a cheap thing but this would allow multiple family members or multiple friends to help someone in their own home with their Amazon devices. So it's kind of the next step of what's called the Care Hub. The Care Hub allowed you to see little notifications, know what people were doing in their smart home and it's intended to help you help maybe a family member who can't fully take care of themselves. But it's kind of the next level of that care hub and it includes care alerts, an urgent response feature and a 24 seven professional emergency helpline. Plus it's compatible with a number of third party devices that you already have in your home to help with fall detection and you're going to actually be able to help the individual set up their home and use their products by setting up things like reminders for them or starting music and even managing their smart devices yourself. With the pandemic still continuing and many of us working from home, 
plus just all the restrictions that we're seeing in different parts of the world, you know what, my kid just has not seen his grandparents or some other family members as much as I would like. The Amazon Glow is an eight inch smart display, but it also features a 19 inch touchpad that it actually projects images and games, movies, books, other interactive content onto the physical touchpad. Companies like Disney and Mattel and Nickelodeon, they've already created content for this and it sounds like they're gonna do a little bit of a controlled rollout of content on this, but people on the other side who maybe don't have the Amazon Glow can use a iOS tablet or they can use an Android tablet and it will come to Fire tablets as well. This one is $250 and there are the privacy controls that you would like to see on that. But speaking of those privacy controls, there's actually something that came to existing Echo Show 10 devices and Echo 4th generation devices that have that AZ1 processor that was launched last year. What's happened is Amazon is enabling local voice processing on those. So this is something that will drive data out of the cloud for you in your smart home with those devices. And that is coming very soon. Speaking of those kids, well, hopefully we can go to Disney resorts very soon where actually Disney and Amazon partnered to create the new Hey Disney voice assistant. Now this is something you could purchase at home. I don't have pricing on this just yet. In the resorts, this is going to provide a lot of additional benefit and it's definitely one of the ways that Amazon has made their Miss A voice assistant available to other companies. So it'll be interesting to see if this comes out and we start to get Hey Tesla available on our smart devices. Kids Plus got an upgrade, which I really love for my kid, and I'm excited to see Amazon only content show up there. Plus, the Echo Show 5 got a Mickey Mouse stand. Amazon also released a number of other smart devices today, and they worked with Honeywell to create their new Amazon smart thermostat that they say is going to be really simple to use, really easy to install, and they have created it for just $60 US. That works with the Amazon routines and the Miss A application in general. So you're able to enable a number of routines through your voice assistant now with a cheaper thermostat. There's a new Blink Video doorbell available and I think it looks fantastic. Plus it's cheaper than a lot of things on the market. Something you've heard a couple of times in a row now. It includes person detection and of course it's full HD but it can also be installed either wired or wire free. Blink also announced a floodlight camera and a really interesting solar mount with a camera embedded. So they're extending those lineups. Now those are not overly cheap devices from Blink. So a little bit of a divergence there, maybe a little into ring territory. The Halo View is the next generation of Amazon Halo. Of course, this has an AMOLED display and it features up to seven days of battery battery life. Plus, this is a pretty cheap product when you consider that they are giving a full year of the Halo membership. That's when you purchase the device from Amazon, which is still US based. I asked that one and unfortunately it hasn't been expanded, but there are two new services, including Halo Fitness and Halo Nutrition. Now, there are classes on Halo Fitness and I think my favorite part of Halo Nutrition is the fact that you're getting meal planning and integration with more than Whole Foods, but with Whole Foods in the US in order to get your groceries. And of course, there's integration with that shopping list that you have on all your Echo devices. The Ring Always Home camera is finally ready for launch and you can actually sign up for a preview device here. This is exciting. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that one. But something that was more interesting to me was the Ring Alarm Pro security system. So this is kind of the next level of Ring security and it includes a base station which has an Eero Wi-Fi 6 router embedded in it. This isn't cheap, but it includes alarms and motion detectors, pretty much everything you're going to need. And with that router, it's really intending to provide that Wi-Fi backbone for the rest of the Ring devices. Many of your Ring video doorbells that you already have at home will get a new package detection feature, which is nice to see from that. They were kind of lacking there, but they're also getting a feature that I think launches them forward again and that is 
custom event detection with the different cameras. This is again something that you can teach the AI that you're bringing into your home with these different Amazon products, especially the Ring cameras that you have, in order to create custom routines based on different events occurring in your home. So this is something you could use to know if there's a car in the driveway or if there's something going on in your home like the fridge is open. There's a lot of different AI based events that you're going to be able to teach this and then trigger those routines. But it's not just for the home anymore and actually Amazon released a job site security package for $400 in cooperation or in conjunction with home Home Depot. Now this kind of a package looks definitely for a construction type of site but it features a base station and a number of cameras that can be wired or battery and solar powered. But they had a professional monitoring system that I think was really important here to go with this and it's not cheap but at $100 a month per location this is something that I think a lot of businesses could look at purchase this device and get professional monitoring that they can turn on and off through Ring. That professional monitoring actually will only view and monitor your security cameras when you tell the service that you want that to happen. So that's an important privacy feature, but it could be done at home if you'd like when you set your home to away, for example. Amazon also just came out recently with some new Fire TV products and if you don't know anything about those you need to check out the video that's up on screen right now. We debuted those products here on Automate Your Life as well. Otherwise thanks for watching today and of course don't hate Automate.